Good morning, and thank you for your courage. I'm glad you're standing with me today. We, the students of Ward Melville High School, along with hundreds of thousands of students across the nation, have had enough. We've had enough of gun violence. We've had enough of Congress's inaction while nearly 1,300 kids are slaughtered each year as a result of gun violence. We've had enough of the NRA buying our representatives with their blood-soaked money. We've had enough of the argument that since we're kids, we can't change anything. That's a lie. We can and we will. Not only... Not only are we intelligent and capable, more importantly, we don't let fear stop us from doing what we believe is right and necessary. With that, we have a few simple requests for Congress, specifically for our Congressman Lee Zeldin. Congressman Zeldin, we demand that you introduce or support legislation in Congress which bans assault weapons like the AR-15, which was used to murder 17 innocent people in the Parkland shooting. We demand that you implement universal background checks for any and all gun purchases. We demand that you stop taking money from the NRA, who cares more about the profits of the gun industry than the safety of America's children. Prove that you represent us and not the gun lobby. We demand that you lobby for federal funds to be allocated to New York's Department of Education with the directive that they use that money to increase mental health funding for New York's public schools. Many of us are currently, or will be, 18 come election day on November 6th, and we promise to vote you out if you fail to meet these demands. Civil rights leader and Congressman John Lewis said, the vote is the most powerful nonviolent tool we have. Let's use that tool to create change. To anyone who says we shouldn't be doing this, that we don't have the right to speak out, we have to take action because our lives are at stake. We have the right to learn, free from the fear that we will be gunned down in our classrooms. Rather than arming teachers with weapons, arm them with resources they need to educate the future leaders of our country. Many important movements in American history have been born out of the voices of young people facing injustice. This is one of those movements. Enough is enough. 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 En